Board Online Board Offline. Today we're bringing you an unboxing of Wingspan. Now this is a game that I've been very excited to get my hands on. I'm going to be bringing a gameplay of it very soon, a solo gameplay of Wingspan. I love the Automas that uh, Stonemaier Games puts out from the Ultima factory, so very excited to see how this one works. Uh, be sure to check that out when that video shows up. Today we're doing the unboxing, and before we get there, I want to mention our sponsor, Board Game Co. This is a fantastic website where you can buy, sell, and trade games. They have a great selection for you to choose from if you're looking to expand your collection. If you want to trim your collection down, you can sell games to them as well. They have a really easy to use system over there for that. And they have a really cool system for trading. They will actually link directly into your Board Game Geek account, see what you have for trade that they'd be interested in taking. They'll And they'll see what you want in trade that they have in their stock. And then they will build a trade list right there on their website for you to pick and choose what you want to go where. So be sure to check out Board Game Co. If you do check them out, click on the link in the description below so they know I sent you over there. Board Game Co. makes it easy to buy, sell, and trade your way into a better collection. All right, let's get down to the table and check out Wingspan. All right, so here we go, Wingspan. All right, this is, of course, from Stonemaier Games with the Ultima Factory, uh, designed by Elizabeth Hargrave, illustrated by Natalia Rojas, uh, and Ana Maria Martinez Jaramillo, or yep, yeah, I hope hope I got that right. Jaramillo, I believe that's an A on the end, and Beth Sobel. Look at the back real quick. All right, there you go. You can see general layout of what the game's going to look like here. A competitive bird collection engine building game for one to five players. Let's see. Now includes a swift start pack, four guides, and ten new cards to aid new players. That's pretty cool. And there are all the components there. Uh, let's see. You can see one to five players, ages 10 plus, 40 to 70 minutes. All right, let's get into it. All right. Wingspan Digital, 30% off. Well, I might be looking into that. Crikey, play a Wingspan inspired game in augmented reality. Cool. All right, so here is the Wingspan rule book. Whoa, really? You hear that? That's a really nice cover there. All right, so the rules we've got set up on page two here. Lots of illustrations in here. And looks like the rules finish up on page 11. So 10 pages of rules, basically. All right. And here's an appendix. Probably for some, we got a quick reference over here. Probably has some additional, let's see, bonus cards, bird powers. So some additional explanations for certain things here. Okay. And here is the rule book for the Ultima. Set up. There you go. So as usual, just a few extra pages to play solo. All right. Now it looks like Easter in here. All these pastel colored eggs and everything. Let's see. I think this... Oh, come on. What in the world? Am I doing this wrong? Is this a... Here we go. Use your muscles. All right, so this is obviously to uh, divide up the cards, I'm assuming. So, oh, look at these dice. It's nice wooden dice. We've got, it's like a mouse, a fish, a worm or grain. Grain, berries. Okay. Some cubes here. Yep, 
wooden cubes. We've got blue, red, purple, and yellow, it looks like. Here we've got a bunch of different eggs. It's like pink. Let's pull these out real quick. So I'm not sure if these are wooden or not. I think they're pl yeah they're plastic. I'm pretty po yeah these are plastic. Okay, so these are plastic eggs. Real nice like real smooth feel to them. Pretty cool. So you got pink, green, white, and blue, which are different. Oh and uh, kind of a gold or brown color there. All right, so obviously different colors than what we had here. So I figured that out. Some extra bags here. Scorecard or something. Looks like one side is for the ultimate, one side is multiplayer. Some sort of round card. Okay. This must be that quick start pack. I'm gonna leave. Well, here we'll we'll open it up real quick. Let's see what we got here. So, it looks like a guide for each player. Okay. All right, that's interesting. That's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of tutorials and games. Uh, the Jaws of the Lion tutorial is absolutely fantastic for Gloomhaven. Um, and so anything that can help uh, players that maybe don't really do well with rules explanations or whatever where, where you're actually playing the rules, I'm all for that kind of stuff. All right, here we got a bunch of cards here. Uh, let's, we're not going to go through all these decks. Uh, we'll go through. These look like these three are all birds, so we'll go through one of those. All right, so you can see the back here, which, by the way, in this is the same as that. So obviously, that's where these cards will go. Mountain Chickadee, White-Breasted Newthatch. Carolina Chickadee. I think that these are all different. Common Loon, Kill Deer. So you can see you got different uh, iconography up here and here. But then here you've got the, the wingspan of the bird, 46 centimeters. When activated, discard one egg to draw two of these cards. And then down here you got a little something about, about it. The killdeers will fake a broken wing to lure predators from their nests. The hey, you know, let's go back to the I live in South Carolina. The Carolina chickadee. Uh, chickadees hide seeds and can remember thousands of hiding places. The common raven. Ravens are omnivores whose diet includes insects, rodents, eggs, birds, and carrion. And catbirds mimic other birds and also have a call that sounds like a cat meowing. Ha! Huh. All right. And then let's look at what this is. All right, so... Here we've got, these cards might, it says round one, two, three, and four. And here's something else, round one, two, three, and four. 
All right, now these are clearly Ultima cards. You can tell that from the gear. So I'm not sure how these look like they're going to work. Interesting. Differently than uh, Euphoria or Tapestry. And then what do we got here? So these obviously go in that section right there. Bird feeder, viticult, maybe some sort of event cards, large bird specialist, birds with wingspans over 65 centimeters. Oh, or maybe these are four to five birds, six, okay, maybe these are um, uh, goals for the game when you're playing. Okay. What? Oh, here's the, okay, I guess these are player boards. Because there's we've got multiple, but look at this. I like how it looks like like a notebook that uh, someone who's studying birds might take notes in or something. Gain food from bird feeder. Lay eggs on birds. And draw, you'd think you'd lay eggs under birds. Draw bird cards. All this different iconography, but... I'm sure all of this just really helps with the game once you understand what, what it's telling you here. Stonemaier does a really good job with their games, the production of their games, as far as making it clear what it is that they are. Like, like, like having clues on the board to help you remember what's going on, what you need to do. And see, I'd heard about this. This is really neat. There is a dice tower included with the game birdhouse dice tower okay and then of course gotta have stuff to punch out and as usual with stonemaier it just pops right out without any problems so we got berries rodents uh oh you know what? those dice must have something to do with food so rodents, um, grubs or worms or whatever, fish and grain. Then over here, you got a couple other things here. And there you go. So there you go. That's everything that comes in the box for Wingspan. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the thumbs up button. Also subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline.